everyone. We are back from our second day, and we had a lot of goodies, although I do have to say that the first day, there was a lot more, a lot more, we got a lot more done the first day, I think. And then also there was some things that were on clearance on the first day that were not on clearance the second day, like uh, Peachy Keen stamps had all kinds of stamps marked down on the first day, but by the time we got there today, they were all gone. So that's one thing to think about when you are thinking about going to a CHA event. So I'm just going to show you some of the cards that we made. We actually found paper tray ink, which we did not find yesterday, so we made this cute card, paper tray ink, and then we made our Christmas tree card was made of paper tray ink, and actually between the three of us, we got both of these stamp sets because we liked them so much, so paper tray ink was one of our popular spots, <laughs> and then uh, Rebecca and Kathy got these stamps, or these stickers, I wasn't with them during this time, I was actually on a phone call, but they got these for 60 cents. We made this little project with Tim Holtz alcohol dye and Unity stamps. Then I have a make and take that I actually need to catch up on, which the girls will show you their project that they completed. I didn't get to finish mine. And then this card was made with the new uh, punches by Fiskers that are anywhere punches, so you can put it anywhere on the card and you can punch a circle. However, they're not easy to punch, so you have to put a lot of pressure on them. It uh, took me a couple times to get mine, and Kathy couldn't do it. And we got scrapbookers, two-way applicator, applicator glue, scrapbooky tape, dot roller, craft stick, and they got some other stuff from them. And then a magnet again today, a post-it holder from Paper Craft Magazine, some pens from Paper Tray Ink, this little book we made at the Peachy Keen booth, and it holds a little pen, and it holds a did. So it was on the Peachy Keen project. We really do, this is one of our very favorite projects that we did. So, very cool. We used Copic markers and, of course, Peachy Keen stamps, and then just cardstock to make the holder. Then we made this cute little bath salt box. There's no bath salts in it. But we used Copic markers on this as well. I can't remember the booth we did this in, but it's super cute. We did some border stamping with this, with a border punch, actually, and liquid ink. Then, um, the rest of the stuff, oh wait, this is from the cake booth. This is my little bear with a frosting sheet. And I think that's all of the make and take. I did want to show you a couple from yesterday that I didn't think I showed you very well. This one, I'm pretty sure I showed you. We stamped it, then embossed it, and then we added the butterfly. And then this one was the one we made at the Custom Crops booth. And I just wanted to show you the inside. It has pop-up flowers in the inside. So I just wanted to make sure you guys saw that. And then this is another little design from the Imagine. So this is a butterfly that we, that we printed out and cut out. And then they also showed me that you can print out on removable vinyl. So I have a piece of that somewhere, but I'm not sure where it disappeared to. Then the rest of the stuff is things that we bought. At Paper Tray Inc., like I told you, we got a little crazy with stamps, so I got the Christmas tree set, and I got a Everyday Button Bit set, and then I got this one for free, four of a kind, which is the stamp set that we used to make this card. So those are the stamp sets I got from them, and I also got a die to use in my Big Shot, which um, cuts out envelope liners. But it cuts out envelope liners for rectangle flapped envelopes. So I have an idea of how to make the other ones, which I will show you hopefully this week, if not next week. So stay tuned. I have some exciting stuff for you guys planned. And then I bought the Memory Maker Slice spatula tool because it's pink, and I wanted to use it with my Cricut stuff, and there's just green. So I bought that. Then I bought some more glitter at... Denami Designs. I got brown, red, orange, and gold. So I just can't pass up glitter. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me. And then also from that same booth, I got the 3D Crystal Lacquer, which has a smaller applicator tip, so if you wanted to do some small detailing with glitter, you could. So I'm excited to try this out. At that same booth, I bought buttons for my button stamp set that I got. So I just have some pinks and browns and some harvest-looking colors. I bought my first Copic markers 
my very, very first ones. And I got Snow White, Brick Beige, and Light Pink for, mainly I wanted them for faces. So that's what we're going to use them for, and then I'll decide if I'm in love with them like everybody else, and then I will get more. Uh, we made this bracelet, oops, I forgot. We made this bracelet at Michael's booth. I got this slice apron. So I think I'm going to have to get a Cricut apron or something, or I'll be wearing slice stuff all the time. I don't know. Then, these are the Peachy Keen stamps I got yesterday. I showed you in the first video some of them. I this set that I got, which is the Fall, fa the fall Face Assortment. And then I got the Everyday Character Face Parts, which just has different eyes, different smiles, different noses. I thought this would be useful because of the snowman nose and the bird beak so I can do some kind of animal things without being too overly crazy with a bunch of animal stamps. Then I got some pumpkin faces, so evidently I will be doing some pumpkin things this year. <laughs> and I got some side faces because I always have animals that are looking to the side, so I got these little fun shine faces side views. So those are the ones I got. And I think that's it. I think that's all I bought, all I did. It was a crazy weekend. I had so much fun. I'm so excited to use a lot of the things that I got, including um, this pen holder, this gel ink pen holder. Uh, that's one of my very favorite things I'm looking forward to. Oh, and I do need to mention that while I was gone, my family did make some awesome cards for me, and you got to see those videos also. And my four cartridges came that we had ordered. Usually I don't get four cartridges at a time. This is a special circumstance because they coordinate with my stamps my stamp sets that just came out. So that's why I got so many at once. It's not usually like that. <laughs> so anyways, um, I opened, they only opened one set and then I got to open the other three packages and I did not win on any of them because each of them comes with a scratch off ticket. And on every single one, it said not a winner. So sadly, I did not win an Imagine, but I thought you guys might want to know that. And I did so enjoy watching the video, so I hope you guys did too, because um, it was really special to see my family being able to craft and have a good time without me here for me. So thanks for watching, everyone.